Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle L.A. by Night. This evening we bring you Season 3, Episode 2, Love and Fear. Let's meet our loving and fearful vampires. My name is Alexander Ward and I play Jasper. I'm Erica Ishii and I play Annabelle. I'm Cynthia Marie and I play Nellie G. B. Dave Walters playing the newly suntanned Victor Temple. It's a good look. I like it. I don't. <laughs> Noted. And I'm Jason Carl, your storyteller. Our special guests, Josh Dempster and Josephine McAdam, will join us at dramatically appropriate moments. Before we begin, we'd like to thank some special people for their support. First, we'd like to thank the Master Crafts people at Dogmite for our beautiful clan dice boxes and for our fantastic custom storyteller screen. Hello, screen. I love you. <laughs> We'd like to thank our sponsor, Hero Forge. <coughs> Thanks to their generosity and support, next week you can listen to season one of L.A. by Night on podcast. Watch our social media for an announcement of exactly when that will be available to you, and then later seasons will follow. I'd also like to mention that if you missed International Tabletop Day last weekend, or if you just like to relive the excitement, we'll do it all over again, rebroadcasting this Saturday, June 8th, starting at 9 a.m. here on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry. And we'll start at 9 a.m. with the season three premiere of Callisto 6. Following that, we'll get into the core of International Tabletop Day starting at noon, which features Talisman, Batman, Tower of Madness, Nyctophobia, and finally Asinine Wisdom, the board game. After that, we've got 10 Candles at 6 p.m., and then we will rebroadcast the season three premiere of L.A. by Night at 9. Uh, we've also got, on Sunday, the 9th, a full rebroadcasting marathon, the entirety of Relics and Rarities starting at 9 a.m. with lots of interviews and behind the scenes. So if you're a subscriber to Geek and Sundry, you can watch all of this on Twitch right now, which is the best way to support the channel and LA by night. The family knows that in the world of darkness, secrets have a way of getting out. Sometimes this is accidental. And sometimes, it is deliberate. Hello, Los Angeles. You're up way past your bedtime. Open up your ears and banish your fears. If you're listening, you found me, your archangel. Coming to you now with the truth about the night. My loyal fans know what's happening in the dark, and things haven't calmed down with avenging biker gangs and religious-inspired backroom dealings. But that's not our headline for tonight. Have you enjoyed the recent news stories about a mysterious gas leak explosion? The one that took out Club Maharaja and nearly flash-fried a certain outspoken media mogul and his friends. How many is that now? Eight mysterious gas leak explosions in Los Angeles this year. It's almost as though somebody can't think of a more original explanation for what's really going on. But I know what's really going on, don't I? Word on the street is that this was just the latest move in a little game of cat and mouse that's all the rage in our fair city these nights. Mr. Mogul and company also went shadow dancing with a new player in town. I hear she's the scourge of rule breakers everywhere, so you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why, because maybe it will be your home that gets torched next. What do you think, loyal listeners? Is the tower cracking at the foundations? Does the resistance have a prayer? For the truth, keep tuning in every week. Keep your frequency loose and your ears open and you'll find me. Until then, this is your Archangel, signing off. Sleep tight. 
secrets, mysteries, pressure, consequences. These are the perfect ingredients for an evening's tale. So with those elements in mind, let's tell a vampire story. Sunset in Los Angeles, special time. Something about the sun sliding below the horizon changes people's attitudes. The day is done. It's time for fun, for relaxation, to set aside the weary burdens of the day. But for vampires, this is when the work begins. In North Hollywood, in the Arts District, in what was once the old Portal Theater, construction work is underway. And that is where we join our coterie at what will become, in just a week's time, Club Maharani. Okay, so you have to see past these, like, tarps and scaffolding and all this stuff, like the painter's stuff. Like, it's going to be incredible. Uh, I had to accelerate the timeline of the opening because as you know, the old place, someone out of commission, but that's cool, that insurance paycheck. Uh, the cam actually did me a favor with that whole gas leak thing. Got paid out for it, no big deal. Uh, I've done some special stuff for everybody here. Uh, we got the, the thorn section of the club upstairs. Excellent. You know? Yeah, uh, also down in the catacombs, uh, down in the basement, should be a little comfier. I got an idea of your aesthetic, your Ikea realness. Got that for you. Got a uh, place that I think you're gonna like down there. You got your own little apartment. It looks kind of like uh, what I think you'll like, dorm roomy-ish, I don't know. But you guys, let me know. We'll decorate however you want it. You get to be a college student forever. Congratulations. D literally. Jesus Christ. Mm. Literally, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, it's been, what, three months? I thought you might want some like normalcy. I only like have apple crates as my furniture because I can't afford to not have apple crates as my furniture. It's not an aesthetic. I chose. It happened to me, just oh, like most millennials. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Whatever I you appreciate it. I appreciate it. Apple crates? Did you make her room out of apple crates? No, I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, okay. You are not putting it's, apple crates in her room. That's ridiculous. It's No, it's like, it's like, it's the same stuff I got for him. It's fine. Whatever you want. If you don't like it, we'll change it. No, no, no big deal. it's okay. No, no, I'm, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Victor, I'm grateful. Thank you. Well, I just wanted it to be like slightly homier because the last place was a little crypty. So, and quite frankly, when we built the Maharaja, I was just a business guy, you know, when I had more business enemies than these kinds of enemies. All right. Building this as a baron. So hopefully this should be a little more defensible than mm. the last place. I can transfer a new wardrobe to your room as well, if you'd like. Get a different jacket that doesn't smell. We could take it to the cleaner. No, I, it's I, it's part of her now. Literally. 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 Like, it's got nerve endings of its own. <laughs> it has its own ecosystem by this point. You know, I'm, back in, I'm back in Annabelle on this, though. Uh, it's kept you alive so far. 
So yeah, mm. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. And still got anti-ghost repellent. Uh, so, but speaking of which, do we get this place warded by Eva or the Weird Sisters or something? And like, is there a yeah? The Weird Sisters could do it. I would be the weird ward for that. I would like that. I don't know if they can do specific clan things. That that La Sombra person could kind of walk into any mm. dark room. That's less than optimal. So you're gonna see the lights are pretty damn bright in most of this place now. Not a lot of ambient shadows, unfortunately. Mm, that's all right. Yeah, I, but uh, I'm not hanging out here. Well, I mean, you might. You never know. Mm. Just yeah, you yeah. maybe trapped for a few nights in a club. One other thing. <sighs> Brought on all new security. Got some new people on the staff. Uh, they've been vetted. They seem to be cool, but they're strangers. So we right. kind of got to watch what we say until we know who's who. Okay. Sorry about everybody else. Yeah. 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 But, you know, trying to take care of their people. It doesn't bring their mothers and fathers and brothers and sisters back, but it's... Something. So, one other piece of business before I forget, and forgive me for this, but I give everybody such a hard time about how our secrets are choking us. We might need your help with something. Mm-hmm. The Petronella and Don Antonio thing is not quite resolved yet. He's got resources. All right. What is what's going on? I'll let you decide what you want to tell him, but it's you should ask him. I didn't know he had those books. I didn't know he had that occult research library down there. So we we took a trip uh, to Hollywood Forever and found ah. f- not on Fairbanks. The, I'm so gonna no, be clear, no, we, not on Fairbanks. No, but we have an appointment. Mm. If we stay alive long enough, I don't want to research that. <laughs> Ah. Continue. Not that. We found some artifacts that belonged to my family. Um, Petronella came to me and um, had a few choice words with me, one of which was uh, to clear her name. I have uh, title deeds to the estates from long ago that clearly identify that she is the rightful owner of the estates. However, I do have something that may be of value to you. Um, please be careful. It's it's really old. Yeah. We um, s- sort of accidentally destroyed some documents trying to read them. Mm. Well, that's not upsetting or anything. Here, Annabelle, would you hand me that picture? Yeah. But this may be more information than what your books had. It's a map. Mm. It, is it is a map indeed. on very old, delicate, brittle paper. It appears to be a map of the property that you know now as Griffith Park, showing the original boundaries of what it was when it was granted by the old colonial government. Yeah, okay. What there is are, it? What is it? Uh, it is in Spanish, although the writing is difficult to read. Mm -hmm. You can make out several buildings marked on it. It's not difficult to find the location of the Hacienda, which of course you have visited and destroyed. (laughs) Well, Mm -hmm. But the other buildings marked on the map may or may not still be there. When I saw Don Antonio at the house, he was digging in the Hacienda and the maps in one of your books we were looking at didn't reflect all of this. So. Right, so this map is different than the yes. public knowledge maps. Correct. Right. right. Okay. And it seems like your family considerations and Jasper's labyrinth considerations may intersect. It's possible. I mean, we were above it when we were with Petronella, I believe, if my geography is correct. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so what, it, what, it, what do you need to know? What are you looking for? Anything in particular, or are you just trying to find what might be there? I think it's more of burying what is there so that other people don't find what he was looking for. I see. If there's some way that we can help their spirit rest. Yeah. I don't know, is that even a thing? I don't know, is that that why ghosts come back, unfinished business? I've never met any besides them. Generally. Yeah. But please take care of that. That's really all I have of them. Nellie, 
Have you made a copy or taken a photograph of the map? Or oh, yeah. Or is that the only one that exists? Oh, yeah. No, no. I took okay. a photograph of it. Yeah. I can, I'll look into it. I'll cross-reference it with some things and see what I can find. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I think I told you the, the night of, I, I tried to get in touch with Fiorenza to figure out the, the person that we were after. Right. Yeah, she said she didn't know. Well, we we know well, we don't know who she is, but we know what she is. Mm-hmm. Um, she is what's called a La Sombra mm-hmm. yeah. plan. Right. Um, I don't know. How would you describe it for yes? Because this is shadow this... people, right? Yeah, they're um... the most dangerous kind. Well, mm. arguable, but they are a clan that. Uh, how do someone described it to me once? Um, what the Vendru are to the Camarilla and the Anarchs, the La Sombra are to the Sabbat. Hmm. They take care of business, but instead of business, they use uh, religious institutions. So hmm. they control churches. Yeah. And they do the shadow stuff. And this one in particular is what's called the Scourge. If you might recall, the prince offered Jasper the position of sheriff. You enforce the law. You make sure everyone oh, follows I the that rules. Was like her name or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, it's a title? title. Oh my God. Okay. It's so there's and this one prince and uh, Scourge and sheriff and there's another Harpy, one with an S. Harpy Harold. They they mm-hmm. they like titles. They're old. Yeah. Primogen. But the Scourge is a killer. Carry, outright. Carries out the prince's word no matter what. Yeah. Killer. Mm-hmm. So if Vannevar has put that one on our trail, it is a marked acceleration of hostilities. Great. I have an appointment with Abrams to address such matters and hopefully I'll get some information that I can share back with you guys later. One other thing, you can't take their pictures. I didn't think that was true. I'd heard that and I was like, Oh my that's, god, that's, is no, it, it like work. vampire yeah. like mirror yeah. uh, mirror bullshit? I'll show her the picture that So I... you're going to uh, show Annabelle your cell phone mm-hmm. and call up the picture that you took in the uh, construction building yes, sir. a few nights ago. Mm-hmm. Annabelle, what you see on the screen is literally a shadow. You can see the uh <clears throat> yourself and Jasper trying to hold down the La Sombra, but instead of the La Sombra, it's uh, an indistinct, hazy figure of very dark coloration. It's almost as though you're looking at some sort of movie special effect. That's a cool photo. Yeah, that's just... You do both look kind of badass. <laughs> no, I mean, really, you, you both incredible. look pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. that's a cool photo. We have a shadow in like a suplex. <laughs> you do. It was kind of that's incredible. That's a new one. Yeah, and quite frankly, living through that was no small thing. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I probably would not have attacked it had I known what it is. Yeah. So, how do we protect ourselves in the future? <sighs> do wards work, or do? Do, do they are they more like ghosts or more like Nelly no. and Jasper? Mm-hmm. Uh, you both possess enough knowledge to answer that question if you want to try. Sure. Intelligence and occult, please. No, wait. Something that's concerned me though is the Lasombra had a chance to take you out at the Grove and didn't. She kind of had a chance to take out at least one of us and didn't. Two successes? Two. Six successes. Six successes. So, uh, Nelly providing a few bits and pieces of memory. Jasper, uh, you're aware that whatever it may have as powers, however formidable or feared it may be, it's still a kindred. Mm-hmm. Wards that affect kindred would also apply to the La Sombra. It's, yeah, it's still one of us. So any anything that affects us will affect it. Okay. It's just really good at not being seen. Oh man, are you a little jealous? I mean, it's kind of cool. It would be very useful. I can't do that. Mm. Can you learn? Yes. Huh. 
Not in a way that you would approve of, though. Mm, I would also highly suggest if you come across the Sombra, do not stand anywhere near it because they have powers that can manipulate things that you don't see their hands moving. Mm. Bright light, bright light. That's why I had them finish the lights in this place before anything else, honestly. Well, thank you. Um, I don't know. I mean, as to why she didn't try to take us out one at a time, I mean, maybe we didn't even need to die in that fire for it to be a big old message to all kindred in Los Angeles. I think also, if I'm to stick with the consistent theme of people we meet, I don't think she thinks we can really do anything to stop her. So I think she's just playing. Yeah, and they still need you to be the sheriff. Yeah. And if we die, who knows? That might galvanize the rest I of... I do have to give an answer to that at some point. Quite frankly, I I don't know Vannevar very well, but I can see that there would be value in being able to publicly break me to his will and bow down more than just random assassination also. That's true. So maybe that's why it's more toying with us. Mm-hmm. If you can consider dropping a building on us in broad daylight toying. Well, yeah, we should we should talk to Ava and, and the Weird Sisters then. I'll, I'll text. Have we heard from them? Yeah, is everything all right? Last time I mentioned Eva, you were kind of vague in your answer. <laughs> like, I mean, can I can I talk to her? Do you want to talk to her? Like, I oh, she's been texting. I... Everything's fine. I'm actually going to meet her now. So, enjoy your evening. I will see you all later. Oh, yeah. oh is this like a date thing? Like you're... It's not a date. I, but you're leaving us. Be careful out there, please. Oh, Even for I you. Have, I have a nicer outfit. Hmm. That feels like a date. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking it's a date. I mean, that was, he was very avoided. Head cannon is definitely a date, yeah, 100%. Yeah, because they were weird in Anaheim, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Um, well. I'm happy for him, though. We don't have Jasper now, and I have to find my space. Of, you, you said you made Thorn-type things up. There's still time to renovate. I just, I did what I thought you would like, but I left a lot of blank space so you can definitely make it your own. And great. I don't want to speak for everybody else, but you know, we were kind of razzing you about all this, but honestly, thank you. It means a lot to have you be making these considerations for us. I'm really sorry about the last club. Uh, we knew what this was. We knew it was, we couldn't, keep poking them until at some point they poke back. I'm just glad everybody's all right. So, this freaking sunlight thing, man, that's, oh. How was it? So, yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, wait, hold this on. Is, we haven't yeah. seen sunlight in, uh, it's, I mean, it's been like about two and a half months for me. So I still remember what it was like, and I really miss it. I still have dreams about it. Did it smell really bad up there still? It's. It's like with the uh, heat, it like, ooh. man, it's like when you see an ex or something and you really miss them and like they're looking real good and everything, but it still really, really hurts to see them. I don't know why that was the first thing that, you know what? Yeah, that, it was like that, though. That was really weird. Annabelle, happened, you receive a text message. It's from Mark. <laughs> oh, my God. And it says, I'm here. What? What? Well, we all can't see through a phone. Yeah. What's going on? Um. A few uh, moments later, fine. two it's of fine, the new fine. security uh, guards, mm-hmm. two of the new trainees that Campbell has been working with, mm-hmm. escort someone into the club. Yeah, and who are you talking to? D- oh! Sir, this gentleman claims to be your son. Uh, it, it is my son. It's Mark. Mark, uh, did Nelly, I don't know if you've met Mark. Um, Nelly, Mark, my son. Pleasure. Um, nice to meet you. I know you know Annabelle. Um, what? Hey, Annie. 
The two security guards look a little confused. They look at each other. They look at Mark. They look at you. Hey, uh, they exchange a look together. They're clearly asking themselves, did we screw this up? Could you guys uh, go to Campbell and just tell him what happened? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah go, go tell Campbell. You bet. You want him in here? No, no, please. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about this later. But do tell Campbell exactly what just happened. Sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. He looks a lot like you. I mean... Yeah, hey. I mean, he's got prettier eyes. Well, it's it's mom's eyes. You, you know what? That's that's neither here nor there. What what, mom? Are you, what are you doing here, man? I mean, I didn't give birth to him yet. What what, mm. what are you doing here, brother? How you doing? Well, Victor, your club burned down. Isaiah texted me to say he was coming, so I thought I'd investigate too. How are you doing? I mean, I'm glad to see you. Uh, that's, sorry for the weird text afterwards. You know, here's what I... I, I was afraid... Like TMZ or somebody had spoofed your phone mm, and was mm-hmm. listening in, and I just had to make sure that it was something that only you would know. Your stories have always been so convincing, Tad. They've gotten me this far. You've made new friends? I, um. What are you doing with him? Mm. Okay. Hey, baby. How's it going? I missed you. I missed you, too. You're gone for two and a half months, and then I I'm find sorry, I you? I couldn't, I couldn't talk to you, and this is going to sound so 007, but I couldn't contact you because I was worried that they would find you and kill you. No, I... I... She's telling you the truth. Oh, cool. You're the arbiter of truth. Thank you. <sighs> this, okay. Two and a half months ago, you know, I, I did a lot of work at Griffith College. You know, we, we, we built the music department. Nellie's the, the head of the fashion department. Uh, that's how we met Annabelle. I told them we were vampires. I told them we were vampires. I told, I told them that, like, I don't know, I had to drink blood to live, and I was cold at night, and then it was cold, and, and that, you know, I fell asleep during the daytime and everything. I didn't exactly maybe say the word vampire, but I was like, something weird's happening. And then uh, he, we then had that were. talk. And then I left, and then I didn't talk to you for two and a half months, and I said I couldn't see you because I needed space, and... I trusted you. I wasn't lying. I'm, I wasn't lying. It's... It's true. Victor. Activate blush of life. So, make a rouse check. I do not succeed. The beast kicks your stomach, in your throat, in your lungs. Your hunger increases. Hey, you know you could solve this problem right now, don't you? You know all you have to do to solve this problem is to just let me handle it. Even you know? I can take care of this. He is literally the last human being on Earth that I would ever do that to. Yeah, we'll see. I got time. (sighs) Yes, Mark. Yes? That's, uh... I've never seen you be so quiet. Are you okay? He hasn't talked to you really for so long because he's also wanted to protect you. And there there are some really, really dangerous non-people. What did you do to get her to say these kind of things to me? I need you to know something, son. Left to my own devices, I would handle this situation (laughs) much differently. Hey, hey, hey. Annabelle, are you using Blush of Life or not? No? Mark, when you press your hand to Annabelle's chest, The first thing you notice is that she's really cold. Like, maybe she has been in a draft. Or maybe a refrigerator. And as she continues to press your hand to her chest, suddenly, 
it dawns on you. Her heart isn't beating. She has no pulse. Now, maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's a trick. Maybe she just has a very faint natural heartbeat, but there is nothing pulsing life in that body. How? How? You're freezing. You don't have a heartbeat. I looked for you. I've been looking for you. This is keeping me safe? Yeah. Look, nine days after it happened, I... Somebody... They thought... The bad guys, they thought he might know. And they had him killed. And it was impressed very heavily upon me that anybody else that knows or might knew or that I cared about was in very real jeopardy. Otherwise I would have told you, you know, I told you everything. We've always had an open line of communication. We're always on the same page. We always have been. And <laughs> just because I can't help but be curious, did you call me to say goodbye before or after you found out that it might kill me? It was after. I... Campbell interrupts, entering the room. Mark, you see a tall, very well-built, very athletic man in his perhaps mid-30s with uh, some visible injuries. His arm is in a sling. His face has suffered some recent first-degree burns. Uh, he looks very tired. He ignores you for a moment, addressing your father. And then he does a double-take and looks at you closely. Hey, um... Isaiah. Isaiah? Twins. Sir. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Should I be doing anything at this moment? Uh, you should be showing those other two the door. It's already done. Yeah. Uh, just eyes, please. If he's the uh, new um, fire extinguishment system has been installed. We haven't tested it yet. We'll do that tomorrow, but it's, yes. it's in place. Please do. Test it thoroughly. Uh, also, make sure the lights are on on every floor. The lights, sir? Yeah. High as possible. Need it very bright in here. Want to make sure that the workers have plenty of room to see. It was so dark and gloomy in the old place. Dark and gloomy. So yes, sir. That is the opposite of what we want. Absolutely. It, we'll, we'll light it up. Yes, please no do. Problem. Please do. And eyes outside. 24-7, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mark. Campbell excuses himself. I need you to know two things. Don't be mad at her. If you gotta be mad at anybody, be mad at me. I asked her to leave you out of this. Two, as crazy as all of this sounds, whatever you see, whatever you hear, as insane as this all seems, we didn't blow up that building last week. Something crazy is obviously happening. So, yeah, so something crazy is obviously happening. Are you two also freezing cold with no heartbeats? No, look at me. Here, you want to touch? You take your father's hand. I do have Bless Your Life active. Take your father's hand. Who knows what you're expecting, but it feels warm, human. There is a pulse. There's supple flesh. It feels like it always has to you. Before he lets go, I actually like very like slightly grab him, like like a small handshake. I don't do anything with girls. I just haven't touched him in a while. And so, <laughs> just a little squeeze. Yeah, he's real. Yeah, I squeeze back a little too hard, or so I think. I'm it gonna. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna activate awe. Mm hmm. Darling. Mark. You would never. Something happens. Instantly. The world 
and your focus narrow. You know Annabelle is here. You know your father's here. But at the moment, they don't matter. All you see is Nellie. She is the focus of your attention, and when she speaks, every word is like a diamond dropped into dark water from a great height. You should never ask a woman or anyone if they're cold and heartless. It's quite rude, you know? So I want you to understand that everything that your father and Annabelle are saying is true. But this is a secret that you need to hold for us. You understand? I saw Campbell. He just came in. The bruises and the broken arm, the burns. He's not really involved in any of this. But just because he works for your dad, he got caught up in that fire. I just, there's so much, like I have, there's so much to tell you, there, we're. Annabelle, don't tell him everything. Well, no, but I mean, just. Uh, Annabelle. Everything that we fought for while I was still alive. Everything that I'm still fighting for? Without yeah. you? Yeah, you guys are still doing really good work. But there's a whole other battlefront a whole other hidden system of inequity that needs to be righted, and that's what we're working for. Annabelle, was he there for the building with Nick? Yeah. Tell him. Tell him how you got here. Tell me what? So when we torched that represented his office the night of the fire. Yeah. I was murdered. I was killed. Somebody else that was like me, a vampire, drained me, killed me and drained me, and left me to die. And somebody else, another vampire. Oh, fuck, this is so stupid. This all sounds he, insane. It is, it is insane, but you have the proof, like, I'm not breathing, I'm cold, I, I... But understand. He turned me into what I am. But understand, it wasn't vampires that got her murdered. It was what you all were doing. It was firebombing government property. It was your activities. So, yeah, I understand wanting to make me the asshole here. But do understand, we had nothing to do with the sequence of events they were already set in motion. So yes, we've been trying to keep you safe, trying to keep you out of this, because my world is fucking dangerous. That's true, but your world is also. And I've been doing everything in my power to keep your head on your shoulders, even if that meant you have to hate me for it. Is that why I haven't seen you for so long? You've been keeping me safe? <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Nelly. Do you maintain the presence power? Oh yeah. Awe? Oh yeah. Okay. She's still, whenever she speaks, or even moves, the center of attention. Mark, have you played chess before? Of course. How good are you at it? Not great. Not Annie, great. Annie would beat me He's not great. most of the time. What was your favorite chess piece? The rook. Why? Strong move to protect the queen. Mm. What if I were to tell you that the king and queen are a lot higher than you think? And that they watch over a city and they move their pawns every day and every night. And when you think that you're playing your small game, you're not. Because the king and the queen are the ones that are moving you. Do you know who the king and queen are? I have a feeling you're gonna say yourself and Victor, but. Well, that's quite nice of you to say, darling, but no, there's actually other ones that we fight against. We're hoping to become king and queen at some point, right? Yes. So, what I'm trying to say is that what you're trying to do is a small piece on our chessboard. And what your father 
and what Annabelle are trying to do is to protect you as the Rook. All the stories about corruption, all the money, the the money, the dirty money that was going into the college that you guys found out about, it's from this world. So you're saying that you were killed because of a conspiracy run by vampires in a world I know nothing about. But when you put it like that, it makes me sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist. But yeah. I, I don't know, what what would it take? I mean, I, I know this is a lot, okay. No, 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 okay. <sighs> it was a lot for me to take into. This has been two and a half months of me learning about all of this and learning what's real and what's not, learning what I can do. And I had the benefit of actually being this, and you don't. But what can I do to- Did you stay in contact with anybody else? No. I don't know, Annie. I don't know what to say. You disappear without a word. You left me with a pile of books about vampires. A lot of them, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, those are all rubbish. Like, none, none of those, those are- a, I tried like... to help you. If I could have, like, don't you feel that if I could have told you everything, if I could have talked to you, if I, that I would have? I know, but you have to tell me as much as you can. I know that you won't be able to tell me everything, but I need, I need to understand this. We're fighting a war. There's a war, like a cold war, like a sort of a mafia style war where pieces move on the board and everybody tries to stay alive. But we're fighting against somebody who is trying to come in and literally be the Prince of Los Angeles. Just board the oldest and most corrupt power structure possible. But for what it's worth, she is leading a revolution. She's doing it well. Mm-hmm. You just be general and everything. It's like old times. Okay. If I take this at face value, I want to help. I want to be here with you. Hmm. Mm. Could Mark? I ask you? Oh. You'll notice that although you've been holding her hand for minutes now, the skin isn't warming. You know how when you, a person is cold and you take their hand in yours and you rub it a little or hold it, eventually it warms up, matches the temperature of your own hand. That's not happening. Could I uh, ask just one, could you just excuse Annabelle and I one second? You and, and Nellie can stay here. I just, I need to speak with her. Just one quick second. We'll be right back. I'll leave you with uh, your charming self. Oh, how lovely. And also, also, no, this is a lot. I'm still your father, though. You dropped out of school. Like, we're not done talking about that, oh, by the way. Oh, my Nance. goodness. Right. You leave him alone. It, sure. I Just, thought you were leaving. We'll be right back. Your tone. I just literally just out of earshot the next room. Anyway. So uh, you're going to leave the main dance floor area, but go perhaps um, to the storeroom behind the bar? Yes. It's uh, If you leave the door open, you can have a line of sight to Nellie and Mark 
who are still in the construction area. I would like. But that. you're out of earshot. I would like that. Can I activate heightened senses, please? Yes, <laughs> of course you can activate heightened senses, Nelly. <laughs> I'm Difficult concerned. to have two conversations at once, but, or to have a conversation and hear another, but yes, just, it is possible. I, I'm just going to kind of listen out. I know that they're, they're far-fetched, but yes. It's very on brand. It's very on brand. Uh, you know, I think, um, I think it's within character. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I have a wits and resolve roll, Nelly? <laughs> I'm like, dominate death. <laughs> <laughs> If only it worked like <laughs> that. That's one success. So, like, no. Um, one success is not enough to get the fine details of their conversation. You're, all your willpower, your superficial damaged willpower is refreshed. So you have a full pool if you want to reroll. Nah, nah, no? nah, nah, nah. Okay. So you get the gist, but not yeah. the specific. That's okay. That's what I was going for. Okay. When we when we get in the next room, I'm like, mm. this is my nightmare. You know, this is this. I'm trying. I'm. It's okay. You can I'm, just make him forget everything I'm, again, just I'm, like last time, right? I'm trying not to. <sighs> I want to. I want to like a lot. I want to a lot. But you're not gonna this time. I'm trying not to. But here's the thing. One of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to make it where he can't tell anybody. Where he can't tell anybody. You won't tell anybody. Annabelle. We can't risk it. So either I'm going to take that from him. Or one of us is blood bonding him. He'll Uh, be like Campbell. He'll be stronger. But more importantly, he will be loyal. And he's already loyal to you. Oh my god, no! Yes. Are you... Fucking kidding me? He's like Eve. Eve you Campbell. Want, we've yes. You want to? Yes. No, absolutely not. Look, okay, Victor. There was a mistake that I made, where I suggested that somebody get blood bonded to somebody else, and and then I found out what it meant because like nobody really told me what happens when somebody drinks somebody else's blood. And it still haunts me. Because like, now there's somebody that has to do whatever somebody else, somebody says forever, and they can't live without their blood. And like, I, why would you consider doing that to your son? Because I wanted him to not know. You took that from me. (sighs) Now I have to make sure he doesn't tell. He can't talk to Isaiah. He can't talk to his Isaiah mother. Isaiah knows about vampires. He knows what they we are. They can't talk about it, Annabelle. They can't talk about it. <laughs> and I'm, try- I'm trying to respect you with this because you do things different than me because you know what I would do. I would go and I would wipe the shit out of this and he would forget about you and me and all of this and go home and live his life in peace. I'm trying not to be that person oh my right God. now. Well, what? I cannot chance. The alternative is monstrous, and I cannot believe that you would even suggest that. No, what we are is monstrous. Suggesting that is monstrous. I'm talking about giving him freaking superpowers and maybe feeling an enhanced sense and of maybe loyalty. maybe being, like, dependent on us, and, like, how would, like, I, what if he ever wanted to break up with me because, like, he hated what I'd become, and he couldn't do that because he didn't have free will anymore. It's you or it's me. Those are your options. Or I can take this all from him. So I guess you've got three choices. He forgets all about this. The bond is to you, or the bond is to me. Nellie's already got too many, so she's out. <laughs> Speaking of Nellie, what are you and Mark talking about? Oh, so... Ah! <laughs> uh, sorry, it... Is there something... I'm used to a little bit higher altitudes. My ears usually pop a little bit better, like... Oh. Whew. Um... <laughs> Anywho, so, so why why did you decide to come today? Well, as you know, Victor's club burned down. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a big event. Mm-hmm. I might not like him, but he's still my dad. Daddy is, and, and Annabelle, you have feelings for her still, even though she's been lying to you? 
you know? I trust her. We really, we really fit together. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I think I'm choosing to believe that she's fighting a worthy cause. She's fighting the only cause right now. Because if we lose, your life is more at stake than you think. Was that a, was that, was that a joke? Did you mean that? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a pun? Is that what people call that? That's a pun, Yeah, you didn't right? mean, you didn't mean to no! do that. No! I mean, <laughs> anywho, I gotta get straight with this. Um, you need to realize Annabelle's a treasure. I know. In a big way. So when she's telling you something, you need to believe her. Because the monsters that we deal with right now love to lie. They love to hold secrets. And she's not one of those monsters. Aren't you fighting other vampires, though? Yeah. It, they're monsters and you're not. I didn't say I wasn't. Meanwhile, back in the storage room. Okay, what if we hear me out, let him decide. Okay, but it's going to happen. We, he's gonna pick you. That's not, it's a Hobson's choice, but sure, if it'll make you feel less guilty, great. What's a Hobson's choice? When you think you've got a choice, but it's really just one. <laughs> like cake or death. Uh, cake. Right. I'll let him decide. I'll even be the one that tells it to him. But his choices are going to be connection with you or forget all about it. I mean, lack of free will or f forgetting. Free will was never an option. I hate this. I wanted to keep him out of it. Okay, I'll talk to him. You want to or you want me to? I'll use my words, I won't use my words. Okay. Well, I might use my words. Yeah, we'll come back. You're gonna re-enter mm -hmm. the construction area? Mm-hmm. So they return a few moments later. So. She's still cold. All right, I'm gonna lay something crazy on you, brother, but it's gonna be the truth. Part of the reason why we do what we do, part of the reason why all of this is possible as we have an extreme code of secrecy, which as I said, is why you haven't really heard from Annabelle. It's why you haven't heard from me often, or at least you don't think you have. So I need to put some assurances in place that one way or another, you're not gonna talk about this afterwards. And so that's really gonna come down to one of two things. And also, it's for your own safety too. 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, Look, they're so serious about the secrecy thing. They have a name for it. It's very dramatic. It's called the masquerade. And if the masquerade Jesus. is broken, I know, no, I know. Is, is that okay to say? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I mean, Cross, crosses outside do of not here? work. No, it is not. Garlic do not work. Holy water do not work. I, Sunlight bad. Fire bad. Fire very bad. Um, so well, hang on, we're 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 bearing the lead here. Anyway, if anyone were to find out that you know about this, like, you are gone. You are so dead. And there's a, you know, again, there's, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that want to hurt us as individuals. There's a lot of people that want to hurt us as a species. There's a lot of people that are just curiosity seekers. I don't want any of that coming down on you. I've tried to keep even my public life from affecting you. I cannot let my private life affect you. I can't let this hurt you. I can't. So I need you to do one of two things. It is within my power to make you forget that any of this ever happened. You go on with your day, you'll, be, you'll turn up at Starbucks, and you'll have a normal day, and literally none of this happened. Or, or your bond with Annabelle can become much stronger. You won't be a vampire or anything like that. You'll even get a little stronger, maybe a little faster, but you will feel a much stronger emotional connection to her. You won't have free will though. 
It's not completely true. He will just heavily, heavily, heavily favor your wishes. It won't make him a mindless slave. No, but there no not be any way of you or me knowing if the feelings you have for me are real or not. So I'd be yours? Literally? In a really permanent way. So effectively, either you wipe my brain and... Just for the afternoon, just the seeing us here. Just this. You remember everything else, you remember everything. It's just you wouldn't remember coming here. Is that safe? Is there like brain damage? Yeah, something? is there like no, repercussions? Fine. Is this like I mean, a... Maybe repeated exposure, but no, he's, uh, he's gonna be fine. Well, you keep saying that I haven't seen you as far as I know. What do you mean? Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I've done this before. But at least now I'm trying to give you some say in the matter, because I meant what I said the old me would have handled this much differently. The moment you walked in, I would have said, go home and forget all about this, and you would have. I'm sorry I forgot my father of the year trophy in the trunk of my car. You are still alive, son. That is the only thing I cared about. Are you two? Calm down. You have quite a decision to make, dear. Can I have a minute with them? Everybody in their minutes. It is not terrible. It's, if anything, you'll feel addicted to her. But something tells me you already do. And then I'll leave. No listening. It's true, earmuffs. <laughs> so, Victor and Nelly leave the room? Mm-hmm. Is that I, right? I do leave where I can't hear. Okay, do you join Victor? Begrudgingly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe and you'd like to show her the her new area. area. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can tell me what you want to do with all this. Okay. Tears aren't water. Her tears are blood. I told you. This is how you cry now? It happens a lot. I lose a lot of blood all the time. It's kind of cool looking, honestly. Yeah, it's pretty metal. <laughs> yeah. It's quite the statement. <laughs> I did that creepy stalker thing and I watched you. Oh, that's exactly what I want to hear from your disappeared girlfriend. I I did. I wanted to... There were so many nights that I... sat outside your apartment, and I... I wanted to tell you so badly. You know, I I would have told you everything. I don't care about their stupid rules. I don't. But I care about you. I know. I believe you, I trust you, this is all so insane, but you're freezing, you're crying blood, and that's, unless you're good at, like, really, really good close-up special effects. Okay, I can, uh, here, let me make this better. Hang hang on, hang on. What? Um, What? I have to be blush of life. Make a rouse check. Okay, I'm good. Your hunger is not in place. (gasps) See, look, wait, I can, I can do this thing, or I can pretend to be human. See? It's charmingly unsettling. I, I have to be honest. I know, I know. It's okay. I can pretend to be human. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I miss you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, so, so. I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry. And now that I did bring you into this, you have this choice. So I become yours? 
Yeah, but in a way that, like... Forget all of this. You'd still remember me. You'd still remember two and a half months ago and the last time we spoke. If what Nelly says is true and you're a treasure, someone important to a revolution... Did she say that? I, I imagine she wouldn't admit to it, but yeah, that's what she told me in confidence. <laughs> that's, that's really um, yeah, if the fight that you're fighting is as big as you say it is, I want to be by your side. I'm ready to castle. <sighs> I can't. I wouldn't know if, we wouldn't know. What if we grew apart? What if you decide you didn't agree with something that I did? I, I'd still look like me, but I'm a monster. I have to live off of other people their life and I never know I never know if I'm ever going to lose control and I have something inside of me that at every turn tells me to do the wrong thing I think have you have you killed anybody not me no not yet I mean but you, you do drink blood. That's, I, I mean, because... And it's, and, but it's consensual. I asked the person, I told them, I'm going to take their blood. And that's, but... And that's exactly why I trust you. But I don't ever know if I'm going to lose control, though. Every time I take a sip from somebody, it says, take more. There may come a day where I I accidentally kill or where I have to kill. Because we always used to ask each other, how far is too far? How do we remain good people in a complicated world? By standing side by side. <sighs> if what Victor says is true, and I'll be more loyal, then you can trust me to be honest with you. Right? Isn't that what we always did for each other? Always, and I know that... Who did we ask? Who did we ask how far is too far? I asked you. Nellie. Do you listen? No, I respect her wishes. Trust you, and if our positions were reversed, which they could very well have been, it could have been you left for dead that night. The fire. But if the reverse were true, I. Then we'll fight your revolution together, okay? Okay. I'm scared. I am too. I don't know what happens next. But at least we'll be together. How, how does this work? I... I think you just have to drink some of my blood. It'll taste good, apparently. I haven't had animal products in 12 years. Oh my god, your stomach is gonna be so upset. Oh god, what are the rules for eating? Are you gonna have to... We'll work this out together. Okay. Great. Should we go tell them or 
Can we just get this out or? I've made my decision. Okay. Here, now, before Victor says otherwise, he sure tries to wipe my brain again. Are you sure you don't want one more day to think about this? This is huge, like I... I don't think I get one more day to think about this. I, th I think the call is here right now. It's a matter of if I do this now or in 10 minutes after I face my father again. Okay. Okay. She has fangs. They cut open flesh of her wrist and the dark liquid wells up and into your mouth it is more quenching than the finest wines more delicious than pure spring water from a deep stone well on a hot summer's day nothing has ever tasted so good in your entire life not victory, not love. This is better than all those. <laughs> Almost at once, you can feel it working inside you. You see Annabelle as if for the first time, and she is everything you ever wanted, everything you ever hoped for or dared to dream about. It feels like the very first night you met all over again. Aurelius Temple. Mm. This only lasts for a limited time. If at the end of that time you change your mind, we can go back. Let's do this together, okay? I promise, I promise that I will always try every moment to be worthy of this, to be worthy of your trust. I know you will. I'm sorry that this has happened, but at least I know that nothing bad's gonna happen to you now. Okay, Annie. <laughs> and hey, I waited to finish Game of Thrones for you. <laughs> I'm sure, it's gonna be great. When can we start catching up? I've been on a media blackout for <laughs> two and a half months. <laughs> All these memes I don't understand. I know! What the, what the hell, man? People seem really angry about something. So you make your way through. You lead the way. Okay. Through the uh, transparent plastic tarps, plastic sheeting that covers up so much of the club interior while it's under construction, weaving your way around sawhorses and 
tools and buckets of concrete, plaster, paint, making your way up the elegant staircase to the second floor. Now, as Campbell confirmed, the security systems are still being tested. And you're not sure if everything works or not. So your cameras aren't on. Where have you escorted Nellie? I really did take her to the Thorn area, but I'm not really paying attention. <laughs> okay, am I, am I messed? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how to look. Okay, just... You okay? Just oh, yeah. This, uh... <laughs> this is not what I wanted. I know. I spent... <laughs> it's pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna know. They're gonna know. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So it's loud down there. Special occasion. <laughs> don't get over it. <laughs> they don't get a lot of happy time. <laughs> Neither do we. I spent the last 15 years of my life trying to avoid two things somebody hurting my family to hurt me, and this. I know. Okay. Nothing you can do about it now. Okay. It's not all bad. He'll be stronger now. He'll be closer. He can protect himself, and hey, he'll get to remember that we hang out. Mm-hmm. Mm. And he's got baby B to hold on to. That's what I'm worried about. She said something weird to me downstairs. Mm. We need to ask her what happened to Eleanor. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. You hear them before you see them. <laughs> do you exit the thorn area and go to meet them, or do you wait for them to find you? I wait for them to mm-hmm. find us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Typical king and queen move. <laughs> Annabelle and Mark, you need to make your way through many different areas of the club, <clears throat> picking your way around the uh, plastic sheeting, the drop cloths, the tarps, the ropes, the pulleys, everything that's being used, it's, it dawns on you that this thing opens in a week and there's still a lot to do. But you do find Victor and Nelly in a lavishly appointed lounge area. It's beautiful in here. Uh, it's beyond gorgeous in its plush and artistic decoration. I tried to... Do what I thought you'd like. Appreciate it. I think there needs to be a little bit more gold, but I think we're almost there. Whatever you want. Thanks. Whatever you want. Thank Blank you. canvas. Um. So. The choice is made, huh? Yeah. Well, welcome to the family. The family. Mm-hmm. I get it. You guys, clever. I need you to know something. This, this isn't what I wanted. I spent a lot of years trying to avoid this. And I missed a lot of parties, a lot of birthdays. At first it was just business, but then it became this. Um, but I've held it against you for the, the longest time, and I still do, but on the bright side, this will give us a chance to get to know each other again. For real this time, yeah. And just, just one thing, only ask one thing. We'll tell you everything, you'll know what we know, but you cannot talk about it. Not to Isaiah, not to anyone. Honestly, don't even Google it. Don't go home and look, because there's people that know who you are. It's not a secret that you're my son. We don't know who's got eyes on you. Just, if it's not talking to us, don't say anything, please. I pride myself on people taking me at my word, so I'm not gonna run around telling everybody that I just drank vampire blood. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't, please don't. So there's some rules and stipulations that go along with this connection. Did you explain everything to Yeah, him? you're the resident expert on this sort of thing. Yes, Nelly. Why don't you give us the rules and stipulations? Well, it lasts for a limited time. Mm-hmm. Got that. Yeah. And um, you're going to be very, very, very willing to do everything that she wants. Oh. 
That doesn't sound familiar at all. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Even in circumstances that you may not want to do. That I gathered. But for real, though, I I don't know if there's a way. I mean, like, because I want him to still have freedom of choice, and so does that factor into it? Surely. Take, take care of him. Yeah. But there is one other thing. You probably already feel the effects of being stronger. <gasps> Try something. Try to do something. Cool. Yeah. Um, um, I guess I'll, I'll look around for just uh, like some construction equipment, like if there's like a cinder block or anything. I'm just like, just try and pick that up, see how hard well, it is. There are plenty of cinder blocks, saw horses, heavy tools. Yeah, anything. Just see. Okay. I, I lean down like I normally would and mm-hmm. crouch, and I grab with both hands and I stand up. It doesn't weigh nearly as much as it should. It must be one of those Hollywood movie props, the cinder block. It, it should be heavy. I mean, you're in good shape. You work out. You can lift a cinder block, of course, but it takes a little effort to get it off the ground and hoist it up to chest level. You straighten up. It comes up as though it barely weighs anything at all. One hand. That's not a problem. <gasps> wait, wait. Okay. Oh, no. Bring it. Oh, no. Yeah, you with have to. Bring it with your head. Yeah, no, I'm for this also, actually. Yeah, I want to see this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, this is going to go bad. It's a family <laughs> resemblance. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is going to go fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be great. Right. This, oh, no. This doesn't go so well. <laughs> oh, no! What? <laughs> it's exciting. Now, the block does crack, for sure. Please don't Awesome! Please don't but do so does point. your head, and no. it is painful. Oh, my God! And blood... Yeah. Begins to well up on his oh forehead. Oh, God. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Okay, Hurts so straight. Yes. Yes. I thought you were going to use your fist. <laughs> you encouraged him. I break it. Not with this. Could fast. actually no, be no, a serious no, right. injury. I'm not really in the, in the mood for, now. for Joe Spector, but yeah. Mm. I can feel the blood that. trickling down into your eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> So sorry. I was able probably, to do that. It was one of the first things that I did when I. I'm sorry. Probably a chance okay. of a concussion. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> I back away from the smell of blood. Oh my I God. was just about to mention to our oh. friends, Annabelle, Nelly, and Victor. Is anybody over one hunger? Mm-mm. No. Nobody. Two hunger. Oh. It smells familiar. Smells inviting. But you're not hungry enough to go there. I'd Don't rather starve. It. I would rather starve. Oh my god. Uh, Mark, you, uh, this is the worst. This is the worst. I swear to God, like, you can't. You have superpowers, though. I mean, the strength thing, got it. Yeah, just, um, I'm gonna use maybe my fists or yes. something to break stuff in use the future. Use your fists in the future. Yeah. It's we were all hyped up. I'm sorry. Campbell, it's okay. Really it's okay. About it. Oh my god. Okay. If we have a first aid station set up yet. <gasps> Do you have You like are a... texting or calling him? Uh I'll call him. He's actively Sir? Busy, so. oh Do we have god. first aid set up yet? <gasps> yes, sir. As you instructed, we have several first aid stations okay. uh organized throughout the club. Yeah. Where are you, sir? Is someone hurt? Uh yeah, my steps, my son accidentally bumped his head. Oh. Yes, of course, sir. Um, right away. Where are you, sir? Uh, we're up in the Thorn Lounge. Uh, well, there's a first aid kit the... in the. Uh, it's a work in progress. In the office, just a few doors away from you. Shall I send someone? Uh, send someone legit, please. Yes, sir. Sorry. Do you guys have like an emergency wet bar too? Uh. I mean, yeah. There's yeah. Just, like, a hole. No, oh, that's where you can drink. Alcohol. Yes, I don't. I could really use a drink right sure, now. Sir, you could use yeah. several drinks. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Campbell comes himself. Mm-hmm. He enters the room a few moments later with heavy duty first aid kit. Sir, my name is Mr. Campbell. Uh, let me have a look. It, 
while he's looking, I, I lean over to Nelly and I say, do ghouls, I know they get a little bit of us, but do they have the ability to heal themselves? So, Nelly knows, of course, that ghouls do, in fact, possess superhuman healing. They heal at roughly twice the normal rate, but they cannot mend their flesh the way you can. Yeah. So, that concussion or that injury on his, on his head will heal very quickly, twice as fast as it normally would. Yeah. I think you're going to find that's going to close up pretty fast. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, I, I feel... I have total confidence in you in everything happening right now. Yep. Maybe um, don't maybe don't go straight to sleep though. Campbell uh, Campbell performs a few quick evaluations on you. He uh, shines a pen light into your eyes. He asks you to follow his finger. He inspects the wound, cleans it out with some antiseptic. Actually, sir, I don't think there's any concussion. I mean, you might want to get checked out just in case, but. Glancing blow. Nothing too serious. It's going to bleed a lot. Scalp wounds always do. But uh, should be okay. Just keep the compress on it. Thank you, Campbell. You'll be good in a few days. Uh, yeah. Remember when, when you were young and we'd watch wrestling together? And they get the, the forehead. Too soon. The... Too soon. Woo! Yeah. Ma Mark, on a bit of a serious note, though, with the blood spillage, not every one of our kind has as much restraint as us three just demonstrated. <laughs> so be responsible with your blood, please. I should point out, of course, that it's now in your shirt. Oh. I would, can it, your, uh, Campbell, can outer we shirt. get him a change? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I'll be right back. <sighs> well, I think uh, this has earned you at least uh, a couple more questions. I know, you know, this is all insane, and uh, Annabelle got a very different speech on her first night, so again, I'm trying to be better than I was. Is there anything that is really burning in your brain in the midst of this entire thing being insane that you want to know? Yeah, we'll I'll catch you up with all the granular details, broad, broad strokes, any, anything? Campbell returns with a Club Maharani t-shirt. T-shirts made. That's the first one. Street team. <laughs> yeah. One of the many shirts I've gotten from Dad's businesses. It's black. It's got a gold crown on it. It's dope, right. though. Come on. Yeah, Come no, on. the design's good. I, dope. I, res I respect mm -hmm. that. The design's quite good. I had some consultation on it. That's why. Mm -hmm. Baby, look at me. Magic is real. Okay. Wait, wait, besides? Yeah, like Harry Potter style magic. There's like houses and everything. Campbell excuses it, himself. Traditions, but it, okay, but I mean, what? again, that, that's the first, that's, that's where, I mean, that is dope. Never mind. that's a valid, uh. That's, that's where a, you, start. come on! It's valid, okay. it's valid, it's valid. Okay, um, wait, what, two, what house ghosts. are you? He's a Gryffindor. He would be. Thank the maker you weren't a. Fucking Hufflepuff. Oh, oh geez. What? Yeah, I said it. Hufflepuffs I said it. are the best friends. Mm -hmm. Like, I want that from my firstborn. To be a good friend. Have you met me? Sorry. Questions. Questions. I mean, aside from the fact that you clearly didn't want a best friend. Um, what, what are you guys capable of? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Whatever it takes. I, I meant like physically and like I'm super strong now. I imagine that. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Um, I take two cinder blocks. Mm -hmm. um, you uh, grab a couple of cinder, cinder yes. blocks. She yes. lifts one in each hand. You're not sure you could do that, even with your newfound ability, whatever it is. She picks them up as though they weigh absolutely nothing. Mm. What do you do? Um. I, oh man, I don't know. Now, I mean, I I was able to, okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna do it. And I smash them against my head. You smash them against your head. Yeah. The cinder blocks crumble as they connect with her skull. 
They are pulverized. They become small chunks of rubble. Concrete dust erupts between the two of you, gets on your face, on your shirt, in your lungs. <coughs> there are no more cinder blocks. And there's no scar cut on her forehead. Sorry, I you thought that's what would happen with you. I thought it would be no, really cool. It's okay, that was really cool. Yeah. It would have been nice if, if my little stunt ended up the same way. No, I'm but sorry. I thought you'd get all my powers and stuff because... Okay, so... You had my blood? I can explain it very simply. Very strong, very fast, play with emotions. All of us can play with emotions. Mm. Very fast, very keen senses... Very hot. Literally. Hmm. Literally. That is a that is a superpower. But that is a feature, not a bug. That is true. Appreciate it. Uh, for me, emotions. I'm also very tough, and I can make people forget things. Apparently I'm well versed in that last one. Yeah, it's real fucked up. I mean, but I got Jedi mind tricks, so I feel like it's a fair exchange. And again, you are still alive. Like I said, I'm taking this all on face value. So, to recap real quick, what are your rules and regulations here? There's really only one. Um, well, the most immediate one that springs to my mind is don't bleed in front of vampires. It, That's just good life advice. Yeah. But don't talk about the family. No details, no aspects of it. and Keep the secret. Even when you think you're alone, going to the bathroom, when you say something, someone's gonna hear it. Yeah, that's yeah. Still, honestly. Some of them can happened? just completely yes. disappear. Yeah. Okay, note to self, do not start talking to myself while using the bathroom. Again, no, but honestly, it sounds crazy, but phone calls, um, internet, Assume everything is public. Assume somebody's watching or listening everything. Okay, look, I... I... I guess it's you're called a, it's called a ghoul. I guess we don't have to call it that. We'll, we'll think of something cool. Yeah, I think we'll we think of so, something cool. Name. Like, like... He's no, not you know. named after a flower, though. He's not part of my... Don't even. How about... How about Rook? Yeah. Yeah? As my rook. We'll tell you everything. We'll, I'll, I'll finally get to share with you all the stuff and all the cause that we've been working for. And if at the end of the time that the blood is worn off, you don't want to be part of it anymore. Then my dad will wipe my mind. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you'll still you know, live your life and fight for the cause and it's still doing stuff. It's just a lot smaller than we thought it was. And it's doing stuff without you. Yeah, how, how's it been? What did you get up to? I, I have, I, what have you been up to? Did you start any good shows or like, how's Juan and Diane and I mean, just, I have so many questions. Everyone's good, babe. You know, we obviously it was a bit of a shock when you disappeared. And, yeah. But we've been we've been holding strong, organizing protests. You know, everything going on down south right now. A lot of terrible legislation. We've been collecting signatures. We've been getting out in the streets. That's very sexy of you. Yes. All right, you two. You guys can catch up later. While I'm listening to all of this, mm -hmm. I take out my phone and I text Annabelle directly. I'm trusting you. You need to tell me about Eleanor. Send That's the text you send. Directly, not the group text, directly to Annabelle. To Annabelle's phone. Hmm. Campbell sticks his head back in the room and says, sir. Yeah, Campbell. We're gonna test the alarm in a moment. Uh, we'll get out of here. I know a, l a lot of work needs to be done on this place. Uh, did you take the limo to the shop like I asked? Yes, sir. Okay. It's a, hey, they, we gotta redo the, the interior. You can, we'll, we'll do whatever you want. That thing saved our lives, by the way. Uh, Mark, 
we got to get out. I guess maybe you two want some time out on the town. Yeah. Uh, stay here in the valley, please. I, I have some pull in the valley. He's the baron of the valley now. Uh, what does that make me? Does that make me a thing? You could have been, but you picked her. Mm, womp womp. But I'm your son. <gasps> That's true. We got to figure that out, actually. I guess this whole thing is about blood descendants, huh? So I guess, yeah. But let's get out of here. Let's, uh... Yeah, speaking of blood. Got to see. Um, well, you guys are going to hang out. You know what? Maybe, uh, let's go check in with Gary Gold. Okay, can I make a stop to Brad real quick? Yeah, oh yeah, you haven't been home in days. I'll go with you. And I text Jasper our various movements. Text to Jasper. Yeah. Wow. You know what? In the group text, I'm like, Annabelle's going here. We're going there. And I also have an appointment later. Oh, whenever. I'll I'll find something to do. This then seems like an appropriate place to pause our tale. We'll see you again very soon. Good evening, and welcome back to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. L.A. by Night, Season 3, Episode 2, Love and Fear. Where do you meet? Uh, I meet her at the gas station near my front door. What he means by that is a 24-hour gas station near Griffith Park, near the eastern edge of the park. It's not quite the valley, but it's not not the valley. I would like to see the unseen when I arrive. No rouse check required. So... You stretch out your senses beyond the realm of mortal sight and visibility. The gas station is what it appears to be. But, Jasper, are you hidden from sight? Um, yeah, I'd say I've been waiting there. So yeah, I'd be, I'd be using Cloak of Shadows, just staying still. Just maintaining a watchful presence. Yeah. So, Eva, roll your wits and auspects. Jasper, mm. wits and obfuscation. Substitute. Okay. Two for me. Oh, shoot. Two? Two and two. Ty. Mm-hmm. Mm. He's not here yet. <sighs> do I see her? You do. How did you arrive? Uh, I was not using Unseen Passage, so I just... You just suddenly step out of the shadows from yes. the side of the road and into the light. Hey. And I let myself be visible again. Hi. Hello. Is there back? Yes. I'm back. I'm back. Let's, let's get inside before we talk more. <laughs> of course. Not the best place to be. Um, just come with me. And I, without touching her, as I learned my lesson last time, move down the path towards my front door. So he leads you to the back of the parking lot of the gas station. Behind the gas station, through a hole cut in a chain link fence, down pathway. Behind the gas station, there's a steep embankment that leads down to the LA River. 
Never the most pleasant of waterways. <laughs> At least this time of year, it's shallow and the smell isn't overpowering yet. I apologize. He leads you down a set of concrete steps down to the cement channel of the waterway and there cut into the embankment are a series of very large round access doorways that lead into the hillside beneath Griffith Park itself and it is to one of these doorways that Jasper takes you this is it now ordinarily it's not possible to open one of these doorways without special tools that the city would issue to their labor crews. These doorways lead to small access tunnels, water valves, filters, and various apparatus used in the control of the river. And this is the door to where I live, not the front door to the labyrinth. But we enter the labyrinth through my place. Okay. I mean, it's just a coincidence. It's not. You're not inviting me in. I didn't say that. I open the door. Mm -hmm. Jasper needs no special tools, but you notice that he does something strange to the handles on the outside of the doorway before he opens them. It's a quick movement, not easy to catch. You're not sure you could remember exactly what he did, but the doorway does swing open on hinges, and there's a warm, inviting glow from inside. Electric light. Please. Okay, I go inside. Mm. And I shut the door behind us. Now you are in Jasper's Haven. What's it like? It's, you see a long, well, about a 15 foot hallway that leads to a room that is decorated in rather generic furniture that um, has a few lamps and it doesn't look like it's been dusted in quite a while, but it's not dirty, it's relatively organized and clean. It's just it looks a little disused. But uh, got some couches, a desk, coffee table with some books, and then off to the right there is another, there's an archway that leads to a library set up with a desk in one chair and then a door off to the left that's closed. So much space. I can't take credit for it. I found this place. I'm gonna go into the library and just <laughs> run my hand along some of the spines it's, of the book. It's a circular room that's got bookcases that line all the walls. This is amazing. A lot of volumes of history local and world, ancient history. I could and get lost here. some books that you recognize. Oh. You would describe them as books of occult knowledge. Mm. And they range from the ordinary mundane works familiar to anyone who studies the esoteric to volumes that have genuine power. Hmm. I, as I said before, uh, I was interested in this before I got changed. And some of these are left over from then, some of them have collected since. I mm -hmm. just build it when I can, but you're correct, you, you can get lost in here. <laughs> it's where I am a lot. As a point of reference, uh, there is a spot on the table next to the couch that looks like a picture frame used to be sitting there, and it is no longer there. 
There is no frame. Yeah. No picture either. No picture. Um, so this is, this is where I live. <laughs> um, how, how, how was your trip? Oh, uh, it was good. Uh, I went back to New York. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time. Oh? I, that's, I was born there. <laughs> Amazing. You know, I realize uh, I know so little about you. That's true. Yeah. Not, n- no one really knows a lot. I, before <clears throat> you and Annabelle, and I really didn't tell anybody anything. So, I mean, if it makes you feel any better, you know more than most. I'm not looking to compete. <laughs> um... I'd love to come back here someday. You're welcome to come back, uh, as long as I'm here. It's difficult to get in if I'm not here. Um, I, uh, but, um, <clears throat> you wanted to see the thing. You want to see the, the, the underneath. This is interesting, too. And, uh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to show me? What's through there? The other door. That... That leads to... The underneath. Where's the other... How many doors are there? There's the archway that leads into the library, and then there's the one door off to the left that leads through to... In the back into the living room area that leads into the other part of the haven. can lead you through there. You can see that part of the place. But you're... We can stay here if you want. <laughs> I'm not... You know, but I have a, a feeling you're going to want to know what's underneath where you live. I'd love to know what's underneath where I live. Apparently you're part of that, though. Yeah. Uh, I didn't... I didn't make it, I didn't, I found it. I didn't, I don't know where it came from. Um, I don't know who built it, who, I've tried, I've looked. I haven't found anything concrete. Uh, I assume this is a modified maintenance area that whoever built the thing or was with the thing last converted to live here while they were studying it. And I just took up the position. What a lucky find. Yeah, well, I didn't have anything when I got turned, so I'm glad I found this place. Ah, yeah, come on. I'll show you. (laughs) Okay. So I lead her through the living room to the other door. And when I open it, it leads down a hallway that goes about ten feet and then curves to the right. And then there is a room there that has... Um, a couple of cells. And by cells, he means barred cages with locks. Yeah. So unfortunately, I have to explain this to you as well. You don't... I mean, I do. Okay. Because... There's... Probably... Whatever... I don't know if that's... There's a possibility of whatever you think of in your head is going to be worse than what the actuality is, so I better explain. <laughs> well, before Victor was the Baron, we were part of uh, Abram's territory. Mm-hmm. The first time when we came to, we were still part of Abram's territory. We... Uh, I... We worked as a coder, we did all the things that we normally did, but I also worked for Abrams in a separate capacity in 
uh, VIP storage. Uh, if he needed someone to not be on the streets. Kidnap them? To a certain extent. And would hold them here for a little while. Uh, people who were dangerous, people who were causing problems, people who were trying to hurt people. So this is left over from that. Okay. The body is removed. The cells are empty. Empty. Thank you for being honest with me. Yeah. It's important to me. Yeah. I am. Um, um, are you okay? This is this is new to me. <laughs> this is really new to me. This is a lot of a lot of territory we're covering here that I don't normally do. Just getting used to it. I've seen much worse, Jasper. I'm sure, I'm sure. I just... I, I've... I put you through a lot since I met you. And I'm trying to not make that worse. <laughs> Jasper, you saved my life. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you would have been fine. You can you can fly. You could have gotten out of that building. You could more than oh, once. Right. I mean, I wasn't gonna let you just lay there. <laughs> um. Anyway. What? Jasper, you don't owe me anything. Okay, I certainly don't want you to associate yourself with me because you think you owe it to me. No, I, I don't. I don't think I owe it to you. I'm not. That's not why I. Um, <laughs> it's not why I associate myself with you. <laughs> okay. I am. Um, Where do but, you go from here? Um, look, you, you left me that thing before you, you, you before you left. You, yes. You left me the ring. Yes. Um, I mean, it took me a minute to figure out what it said because I don't, I don't, I don't speak Russian. I can, I can't really read it. It's not one of the ones I studied. So it took me a little time to figure out what it said. Uh, but, uh... It's clever. <laughs> uh, I mean... My pronunciation is probably horrible, but... Moi Bagrovi Liebestok is... My Crimson Petal. Which yes. Is, that's nice. <laughs> no one has, no one calls me nice things. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not that that's classically a pet name, but I like it. It's, it's nice. It's cute, I guess. I, this is a lot. What I am, I'm not exactly sure what you meant by it, I tried to look it up, and there's a poem, but I don't know if that exactly was what you meant, but... <sighs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm enjoying this far too much. I, I can tell. I'm glad that you're wearing it. It's very important to me. It's, it's given to me by someone very important. Oh, yeah? Did, um, did you put the inscription in there? Or was it in there from the other person? 
Mm. It doesn't matter either way, I'm just curious. It was in there before. You don't strike me as crimson. At least not what I know of you now. <sighs> I didn't always look like this. I've been... I've been meaning to ask. I just... I didn't want to... I didn't know how to talk about it. I. You can ask me anything you want, Jasper. I know why I look like this. What? Uh, to my, I mean, I may, I may very well be wrong. I don't, I don't know what uh, everything about uh, Tremere, but what happened? It's, it's a curse. I can thank Strauss for. Ah. <sighs> He did that to you? Yes. Colorless. <sighs> Speaking of Strauss, I can't have you going after him. Yeah, I, I was a little... I mean, when you told me that... I, I don't mean this as an insult. I wasn't sure if you were trying to kill me or not. I was not trying to kill you. Because I was gonna, I was trying to formulate a plan, but all of them ended up in me being dead, so I don't know what I was gonna do with that. I wasn't thinking clearly, and I. I, I mean, I want, I want to help. I do. I, I, I really do. I just. I met him. And I don't know what to do with that. I think I pissed him off just meeting him. <sighs> I can't have him know, uh... You exist. Right? No, I'm sure he knows I exist. I can't have him know that you mean anything to me. Right. That would be bad. It would be very bad. The last person who meant... He killed the last person. <laughs> right. I mean, he's not the only person trying to kill me, so it's not, you know, super new. You just can't stay out of trouble. I mean, if I was left to my own devices, you're right. I don't, I don't, I, I know, I know. Do you want to go explore a labyrinth? I do, I do very badly. I, but I, I don't, I know, I know why you, you, or at least I assume I know why you had to go. There was a lot with everything that happened. Yes. And I understand needing to take some time, but I don't. I don't want you to go away again. I don't want to know that I partially or wholly caused you to go away. It was so... Uh, I didn't like that. You didn't cause me to go away. I... I just felt a little lost. I... Understandable. I threw a lot of stuff at you. I wasn't sure what what I was supposed to be doing. I, I still feel a little lost, but I decided I should follow my heart. <laughs> and um, it led me back. By the way, you know not to touch these, right? 
Yeah, I'm very aware. <laughs> um, I, I was in a, a heightened emotional state, and I got stupid, <laughs> and I uh, touched the oven twice. Um, this is this is weird. This is not supposed to not supposed to happen. Uh, this is. If you gave me some of your blood, I could make sure that they wouldn't hurt you anymore. Um. Sure, sure, sure. Um. You don't have to do it now, but just for future reference. Okay, I can, I can do that. I don't really need it. <laughs> it's not like it's going anywhere. Um. Do you want to do you want to see a thing? Cuz it's a, it's a lot and we've already done a lot, but this is a different a lot. And it's it's really cool. I want to see. Okay. So I lead her past the cages <laughs> and there's a trap door in the floor on yeah. the far side of the room. Here. Is it dangerous? Maybe. We did find a werewolf down there once. I don't think he was supposed to be down there. I don't know how he got down there. He's gone. He's gone now, though. But there's a, there's a lot of things down there. A, there, I, I haven't mapped. I haven't mapped it all out. Um, Have you brought the book with you? So your plan is to descend into the labyrinth. Yes. So while you're opening the trap door, finding your way down, we'll briefly visit Hollywood. And if there is a more stark contrast to the subterranean secrets beneath Griffith Park, I can't imagine what it would be. The Roosevelt Hotel, an edifice of grandiose luxury, evoking the oldest of old Hollywood motifs in the design sense, is where your appointment is. In the lobby, there's one of those strange impromptu photo shoots happening where unearthly models parade under bright lights as a photographer and some micromanaging art director scurry around, trying to make it work out right. Lighting technicians swapping gels and filters, assistants scurrying around with lattes and bottles of uh, fresh water. Somebody somewhere probably supplying drugs on the sly. It's a familiar scene. Mm. And the fashion, meh. Abrams is on the edge of it all looking on disapprovingly. Fancy seeing you in the background, darling. Hmm. You're late. Victor kept me. Apologies. You know I don't mind. Mm. Why here? I want to show you something. Okay. He offers you his arm. He leads you through the lobby, down a corridor, out by the pool, and there is no one else here. Now normally the pool area should be populated with vacationers, hotel guests, people who want to see and be seen. It's a hot spot. Mm. Should be paparazzi and glitterati here. There's no one. Just you and the Baron. What's out here? He points up. You can see far above you the roof level of the Roosevelt. 
with the giant bright sign picked out against the night sky. Our shadowy dance partner was up there. Mm. One of my people met her. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, what did they have to say? You know, she was short on words. <laughs> Seems to be how we uh, danced with her last or a couple nights ago too. Yeah? Mm-hmm. How'd that go? Well, I'm still alive. She uh, worse than the one in, uh, in Venice? Jury's still out on that. Yeah. So I hear some things. Oh? Something... Something new. A lot of them aren't with the old enemy anymore. How so? They're leaving the old faction and joining the Ivory Tower. There's a deal. There's some kind of deal, Nellie. Camarilla is letting them in. Why? I don't know. I hear things. I hear some things went down in Chicago recently. I hear in New Orleans. I hear that for everyone that comes in, they got to execute one of their own for security. Or maybe it's just revenge that the tower has been that you didn't get on an entire clan for centuries. I don't know exactly what's happening, but they are joining. They're signing up. It's quite the bargain. Yeah. Hmm. What is it that the Sombra are afraid of that they're signing up with the Ivory Tower? Good question, right? So, what do you know about her? I know she's fast. I know she doesn't speak much. And I know that she's heard everything that uh, was said with the Coterie a couple nights ago. Yeah. So. <sighs> so name, uh, Name Archangel mean anything to you? Excuse me? Archangel. No. He begins to stroll with you slowly around the edge of the pool. I hear something else. Hmm. I hear there's like this pirate radio thing, this, this underground broadcaster, this voice. Not quite breaking the masquerade, but close. What does it say? I don't know. I hear that she's talking about Victor's Club burning down, about shadow dancing. Shh. Someone's talking. Victor's got a new, new place, mm -hmm. right up in the valley, NoHo, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. in the Arts District? Yes. What do you think? Is it secure? Is it any more secure? And not at the moment, it's still being worked on. Okay. Where are you staying? At my, at my haven, um, yeah, in, in Los Feliz. Not exactly Fort Knox. No. He points up at the top of the Roosevelt at the penthouse level. That's where you stay from now on. Okay. Okay. Where there's one, there's others. I know. What about Velvet? Hmm. She can make her own choices, and they're all bad. 
Mm-hmm. And Carmine? Good head on his shoulders. He's, uh, he's got a line on somebody called Stardust. Can you believe that? Stardust? Stardust? Stardust. 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 That's just awful. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. You can't say the ivory tower doesn't have a sense of humor. Yeah, speaking of sense of humor, what about Jeanette? Jeanette's got a great sense of humor. Nellie, you're not jealous, are you? Hardly. Good. Jeanette, the club's open. Good business. Attracting a lot of her friends. She hears a lot. Yeah. We hear a lot, too. No doubt. You still trust her? Have we met? Of course not. Fair enough. Do you trust me? Have we met? If I didn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. So, La Sombra. Coming over from the other side. That means the tower's not going to do anything about this. They're probably encouraging it. Correct. The only thing that I can surmise is that this La Sombra is a scourge. Yeah, that makes sense. Back in the old days, Scourge had one job, and that was to round up undesirables and, you know, rip their heads off. Hmm. Now, I don't know what, I don't know what her orders are. This one's had two attempts and no head ripping. So what does she want? I presume intel. Hmm. From what I've gathered from the other roses up north, or rather now they're down south, um... Vannevar's desperate. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Your definition of fun and my defini- definition of fun are two entirely different things. Milan could have gone a lot differently. That wasn't so bad. It, but you- that wasn't so bad. Was so- You're here? It wasn't so bad. <sighs> I know, I know. I survived one, Lissambra. I don't need to survive another. I'm not sure we're gonna have that option. Anyway, the penthouse is yours if you want it. Appreciate it. It's secure. May I have my entourage with me? Sure. I've kind of figured. Oh, good. So I can tell Brad to come up. If you absolutely must. Well, he is fun to play with. See, my definition of fun is different. Anyway. Put the word out. I want to know who this Archangel is. Ask your Rose Garden if you would, please. Will do. They hear everything. Speaking of hearing things and explosions, how is the cover on that ghoul extraction? Somebody's been pushing to bury it. That you by any chance? Not entirely. I know I've uh, sent Daffodil to do some some cleaning, but not exactly burying it. Hmm. Well, he mentions uh, an interesting name, and I wonder if I should do some more investigation. Miss Hudson? Who's that? Seems to be Fiona's ghoul that they extracted. Fiona's ghoul? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, if you seem to not know anything, then it must not be that important. Well, I'll see what you can find out if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Hmm. One last thing. If anything happens to me, Nellie, my office at Hollywood and Highland, You know, uh, the big oil painting? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? Yeah. The one we got in Venice? Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. If you don't hear from me for three nights straight at any point, oh, 
Okay. 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 Thank you. Now, uh, they get dancing up in the club. May I have the pleasure? But of course. That's my girl. <laughs> she takes your hand, and you go upstairs to the salsa. We fade out. So, through the trap door and into the tunnels. Yeah. What are you bringing for light for the places where the electric lights fail? Uh, <clears throat> I have a, a mag light flashlight with me. Eva, the tunnels where he leads you are quite ordinary. Concrete, wood, plaster. There are rather a lot of them. Some of them seem like access tunnels that public works department people might use. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them seem purpose-built just for travel. Jasper seems very sure of his direction and following him you don't have any fear that you would be led astray. <laughs> but soon these tunnels give way to something else entirely. Tunnels of smooth stone construction. Hard to say how old. And They're not right. Jasper leads you around yawning pits, pivoting floors, ramps that go nowhere, angles that look like they're acute when you first notice them, and then when you look back, they're obtuse. See. Stairs to nothing. Weird intersections. Tangled. Gloomy. Endless. Maze-like. You can feel the wrongness of it. Yes. I've been trying to map it, it's... Uh, I can't tell if it's... I can't tell how big it is. It seems to change, but I've mapped some of it. There's, um... Can I take her to the mirror? So... You lead her down a route you have taken before. Through another winding, curving corridor that you could have sworn went left, but now you're going right? <laughs> Spiral staircase that looks like it should go up, but feels like it goes down when you step on it. And soon you come to a tattered gray curtain. This is, this is really interesting. I have some theories about what it, why it works, or how, how, what it does, but I don't know why. I, th I think this, it's a, it's a, it's a passage. It, it takes you f to another location in the labyrinth. It. it have you gone through? Yes. It only works if you're dead. <laughs> I don't know what happens to someone who goes through who's alive, but <laughs> I found it by following these guys, and I point down to the posed rats. Are you referring to the pictograms? 
Uh, weren't there a little dead? Yes. Yeah. Can I sense the unseen? Do you pull the curtain aside? For I pull her? the curtain aside. Behind the curtain is a surface, a, a hazy, glossy black surface, like frozen obsidian that reflects the world only dimly and completely imperfectly. Jasper's maglite casts a beam that is simply swallowed by the blackness. The light illuminates nothing beyond the surface. It is as though the blackness is eating the light, devouring it, consuming it. I again don't know how or why. Hmm. And I am fully aware it was not smart to test it the first time I did. Is there anything peculiar that stands out to me peculiar. on the mirror itself? More peculiar than this? <laughs> like any you markings have, or anything? You are using Sense the Unseen. Yes. The edges of the mirror radiate blood sorcery to your sight. Some sort of deep magic has been used to create whatever this is. So it's like some kind of portal, almost? That's the only word I can think to describe it. Well, where does it go? To another part of this. It, I don't know exactly where, but I think it's somewhere over here is where we come out, because I've, I've gone through and I've gotten back, but I haven't tried, nor do I know if you can go back through the portal. I think it's one way. Well, let's try. That's, should I go first or should you? I'm gonna take his hand and pull him through with me. Together. Mm -hmm. It's bitter cold. Coldness and blackness are the only sensations that you can perceive in here. There is no light at all. Nothing. He had the mag light in his hand. It was shining. Now there is blackness. You cannot see Jasper. You cannot see your can own I hands. In front of you, there is no sense of your feet touching a surface. There is nothing to touch in all directions. There is just blackness. There is no heat. There is no sound. No warmth. No love. Just a void. I can't feel his hand. Is Sense the Unseen still active? You know that you are using it and that okay. your eyes you. should be able to perceive something. But for a long time, and you're not sure how long, there's absolutely nothing until, finally, you see just a faint reduction in the blackness seemingly ahead of you. A slightly less black black. And it gets larger and larger and larger. And you find yourself in a corridor. <laughs> the mag light <laughs> illuminates the stone around you. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it's not pleasant. No. Uh, it's a lot. There is no portal behind you. There is simply an ordinary glass mirror yeah. in which you can see your reflection perfectly. Hmm. That's 
what I meant. Can I touch it? glass it's solid so it's uh look there's something you should know here as well i haven't i don't know where it is i've been there once but i don't know how to get back what there's someone down here uh i think i think it's one of us alive Oh. Um, I think he's in Torpor. Uh. I don't know. I, I, I found him. I've seen him twice. The first night I was... When I found this place, I stumbled in here. And I was in here for a long time. A long time. I don't know how long, but I found him, and I'm not, I didn't know what I was. Of course. I didn't know what was going on. I was really hungry, and I fed on him. You were just turned? I just turned. And then no one explained anything to me, no, nothing. I, I understand. Uh, he, I thought, I, I didn't know how this worked. I thought I killed him. I don't think I did. Because I saw him uh, about a month ago when the rest of the coterie found their way down here by accident looking for me, thinking I was in uh, trouble. Yes. Yeah. And they found him. Oh. Did they tell you where they went? Or? I mean, I, I, we kind of found each other near there. And, I mean, I... I... Every, like, everything out. And it's healing. Oh. Um. And I haven't been able to get back there, so I don't know... If I just haven't figured it out, or if this place is moving to keep me from being back there, because this place moves. I can tell. Now, are you proceeding at this point, or are you speaking while you're in place? I've I've stopped. I'm staying still. Um, I don't. There. There's a lot. Do you? You know more, more, more. You know more about this than I do. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> I mean, I know that's a lot. And I know you just, it's your first time seeing it, and I've spent years here. Um. But you can see. Yes, there's obvious blood sorcery being used. That mirror, that <sighs> portal, whatever we just went through, it's. I want to show her the veins. And Jasper leads you through. Nick another series of ramps, corridors, tunnels, around more pits that you think maybe have no bottom. He leads you down more staircases and up others. And you could swear out of the corner of your eye walls move. Finally, the maglite illuminates a massive gray stone slab. And lying on it is a vampire. By his appearance, you would guess that he is a Nosferatu, like Jasper. He's, he has no hair on his head. His skin is a mass of welts and boils and sores. And he has a terrible wound encircling his neck. He has been nearly, but not quite, decapitated. I didn't. His hands are folded on his chest, and he wears a, what are probably dirty jeans or pants, 
and an old tattered sweater. He is unmoving. His eyes are open, but they do not see you. He is still like a statue. Do I see anything else? You do. You are still using Sense the Unseen. So above the vampire, suspended in the air, you see a tracery, a lattice work of delicate red lines like veins. This was not the place, but this was the thing that I wanted to show you. I just... I found these in a different part, but they're the same. I've been doing research, and I, th- I think... I think... These are ley lines. Hmm. I think. Does that sound familiar based on any of the occult? It's certainly based on what your sire has told you. Yes. What you learned from what you took from Strauss. Mm Mm-hmm. It's very possible that that is exactly what these are, but you would have to test it to find out. How would I test it? Do I know? You lack the blood sorcery that would allow you to manipulate them, but you should be able to determine it by touching them. Have you ever touched them? No. I wanted to know more before I do. I know it's an unusual amount of caution on my part, but (laughs) I decided not to touch them. I have noticed one effect. Um, I don't know why, uh, but if I stay here, I'm not here specifically, uh, even in my, my haven, in close proximity to these things, because I think they run through the whole place and beyond. Most likely. Uh, I don't get as hungry here. It's if, I, if, I, if I stay here, I don't mm-hmm. get as hungry. If I sleep somebody somewhere else, it happens the same, but here, I don't know why. Yeah. They're doing something. And I should stay here. Uh, uh, you can. If you want. I mean, I hear here is weird. Don't stay here. It's terrible. I, I spent. Mm. You know what I meant? Yeah. I'm going to touch these. Hopefully, nothing bad happens. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm going to reach out. As you touch them, the light changes. A sickly purple glow permeates the area. It doesn't seem to come from anywhere. Maybe emanates from the very stone itself. As you run your fingers over the lattice work, the woven net of lines, you can feel in your fingertips, in your palms, in your wrists, you can feel the city. An image of Griffith Park Observatory that you know so well flashes in your mind. But when you move your fingers to a different strand, you see something else in your mind's eye. A cemetery, a graveyard at night. Moving your hands over the lattice work, images flash through your mind of different locations, different places, some of which you know by sight because you've been there, and some of which you know only from photographs or perhaps reading about them. Some feel 
powerful, as though the sorcery flowing through them is supercharged. Some feel weak, almost ephemeral, faint and fading. Does there it... are blood sorceries that can make use of such tools. You at least know of them, even if you don't know them yourself. You aren't sure what will happen if you try to move the strands. When I go from one area to the next, does it go back to the same, the previous image, or does it change? Is it not connected to the location? You mean if you touch the strand that gives you the image of Griffith Observatory, move your hand and then go back to it, is it still Griffith Observatory? That strand is always Griffith Observatory. It's like a map. I can see the whole city. (laughs) That's, uh, okay, I think. I think I might have been right. Someone. I'm going to try just grabbing a strand and just pulling. At random? Yes. You grasp it with a hand. Mm-hmm. Mm. An image of the Getty Museum, the art gallery and its beautiful grounds flashes in your head and there is a jolt of pain. There's a smell of burning flesh. And there is a, a large burned line through your palm. You suffer an aggravated wound. Okay. The purple light goes out. What, what, what happened? I, I don't know. I was just... I was, I was trying to see what it does. I, I saw, I saw the Getty Museum, and and then it just hurt. I don't know what. So, lesson learned: don't grab them. I, I guess not. I. Did it feel like it was more powerful? Mm currents running through it, like you were saying, there's some that were weaker and some stronger. Some stronger. That was the strongest one that you felt. (laughs) Of course. (sighs) You alright? I'm okay. Jasper. Yeah? The massive gray stone slab on which the vampire rests is different now. (sighs) How? Seeping out from the edges of the slab where it meets the stone floor is shadow. As though darkness is bleeding into the chamber from the slab. It reminds you of what happened with the La Sombra when she faded and moved from one shadow to the next. What's happening? You're not supposed to be here if that's who I think it is. The shadow does not coalesce at all. It merely begins to seep outward in all directions from the slab. (sighs) Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. I'm going to take a potion of essence of air. I see. And And lift Jasper and myself Uh, off the uh, floor. It's a strange sensation, Jasper, although not unpleasant. Didn't know you could take people. (laughs) You rise above the floor level together with Eva. You have to be touching him to do this. Hovering, you get a better view of the vampire lying in repose on the slab. And you can see the blackness seeping across the floor, covering it. Um, Did we 
activate something? I don't think so. I think this is someone we met. This is someone? If you're who I think you are, Mrs. Scourge, you could be polite enough to say hello. As the moments tick by, the blackness begins to creep up the walls of the oh, chamber. We need to get out of here. Let's go, 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 go. Can you move like this? Yes, yes. Rising swiftly now. And try and leave the way we came out the... Are you propelling Tell yourself me. and Jasper above the ground? Yes. Ah, so you are flying after a fashion. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tell me where to go. Okay, and I, I start leading her. You know the way, the long way from here, since you can't go back through the mirror. You have to take yeah, a, long a very lengthy route. It's going to be longer than now we got here. Yes. I, you leave the chamber it? and begin to drift I mean, over corridors, over pits, chasms. Is the shadow falling, following or, or coming out of the room you when we left You look behind it? you, in the very dim light now of Jasper's flashlight. The doorway to the chamber, where the slab and the veins are, is black. It's like looking into the surface of that horrible mirror the light from the flashlight simply falls into it. That can't be good. Yeah, I don't I haven't seen that before. I thought it was something, but I don't think it was what I thought it was. Uh, it looked like something else. I don't know how she would have gotten down here, though. You Is drift forward at a walking pace. It takes a while quite a while <laughs> to get back to safe ground well, to where the labyrinth ends and the normal tunnels begin. I, um, so unexpected events. <laughs> As always down there. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know what that was, but. Eva, I need to make a roll. Intelligence and occult. Jasper, if you want to, you can help her. Okay. Since you're discussing what that is. Does that just add a dice pool to her, or a die to her roll? It adds a die to her pool. Okay. Uh, occult and... Intelligence. Mm -hmm. And then an extra dice for me. Okay. Seven. Seven successes. Okay. Now that you are away from the bizarre eeriness, the nightmarish labyrinth behind you, you can begin to recall in these calmer moments things that you've read in the books you took, things that you were told. Mm hmm things that you were taught. If they are ley lines, then they can be manipulated. They are somehow connected to the city itself. They can be used to affect the parts of the city that they touch, for good or for ill. I wonder if, if, I wonder if it did anything to the area. They, they, they will affect the city. If I, if I remember correctly about ley lines, they, they can, they can be used in some way. I, I just, I'm not. Oh, I hope I didn't do anything. I can, I can check it out tomorrow, um, or uh, get some of Victor's people to check it out during the day. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, can I see your hand? I don't want to touch you. Yes. Of my... 
the scar in your palm is not red, not crimson, doesn't expose your vitae. It is black. It is as black as that mirror. I guess you'll have to brew some more of that healing tonic or whatever it was. I don't know if I can. I may have given you the only one. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasted it. It wasn't a waste. Your safety is very important to me, Jasper. Uh, your, yours is important to me, too. I, um... You can... You can come back here whenever you want. You know, I don't get a lot of visitors. So... You're welcome. I like that. I, uh, I think I've been alone for long enough. Yeah, I get that. Stay for a while and read through some of those books. Yeah. I can bring you some of mine too. I would like that. The spell slowly fades and you drift down back to earth. <laughs> Your feet touch the bear concrete corridors that are familiar to you. Do you make your way back to the Haven? Yeah. So. You don't recognize these corridors, Eva. You are taking a different route. This place must be even more vast than you imagined. Extraordinarily well built. You find yourself eventually at the door to the holding cells. You go through, yeah, past the cells, back to the more comfortable living space. After what you have just seen, that freakish place that shouldn't be, this seems like a little slice of paradise. <laughs> Something normal, real, concrete, reliable. You know, I wonder, that shadow, did it seem to look or feel like when we went through that portal? Yes. Do you think it was a defense? I don't know if it was a defense or if it was a way... If it was a way through. I don't know either. Maybe. Hmm. Research may produce an answer. Yeah. And of course, no individuals who are skilled in the occult. Where do you go from here? I think the both of us, I take her back to the library and I show her more in depth into what's there and just talk about the volumes that I have. And there are books here that you have seen before in other libraries. There are books here you've only heard about. Mm. And there are books here that are unfamiliar to you in languages that you can't read. I own a lot that I can't read. I only read uh, two, sort of three languages, so. Yeah, this is working on it. We have time. Yeah, we do. 
Unless I'm let on fire again, and there's not. I had, to, I had to change an outfit. I oh. finally ruined that other thing, and now I had to get a new thing. And my question is, when dawn approaches, do you go home? I think maybe I'll stay for a bit. <laughs> okay. Here, in this moment, there is respite. There is perhaps, however briefly, peace. <gasps> Elsewhere in Los Angeles, someplace else in the city, however, the hunt is on. Evidence inventory for operations 1901, 1903, and 1904. Entry alpha, copies of financial records and land deeds for one Vorman Therese, suspected blank body with business interests in Santa Monica. Recovered in raid 1901. Entry bravo. Copies of bank statements from one Abrams, Isaac, suspected blank body with many interests in the entertainment industry. Recovered in raid 1903. Entry Charlie. Sunglasses belonging to one Z, confirmed blank body, expired in Raid 1904. Entry Delta. The Book of Nod. <laughs> the Book of Nod. <laughs> the Book of Nod. It's like a bad college textbook. Is this all we got? Yes, sir. We had more from 1901. Well, that was until, uh... Right, right, right. <laughs> Four dead agents. We lost an entire safe house. The suspect got grabbed and no one has a clue what happened? We could ask the mole, sir. No. No, I don't want to burn that asset until I have to. No. No, get Demetrios in here. I'd like to get his professional opinion. <laughs> yes, sir. Right away. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> 